Hey, what's up everyone? Dave here with another exciting tutorial and today I want to talk about animation in Blender and kind of how you can use parenting to your advantage and just kind of give you some ideas. So let's go ahead and dive right in. I'm in a default uh, Blender scene. I just deleted the cube and I hid the camera. Okay, cool. Now I feel like I'm just going to go shift A and notice I'm in object mode, shift A. I'm going to create a torus. Okay, cool. Now if I bring this torus over here, I'm going to have one torus on, th on this side and I'm gonna control uh, or shift D and I'm gonna bring this one, I'll press X and I'll bring one over here. Okay, awesome. So now I've got this one here. I want to rotate this thing kind of going around like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, down here is my um, timeline, okay? And if I don't have that, I can see here is timeline, right? I can press I as in insert, and you can see it's insert keyframe, and I'm gonna do location and rotation. And you can see that what that did is it put made this yellow um, over here indicating that there's a key on it, and I can see that there's also a key down here. I'll go to frame 60, and I'm have, gonna have this do a full rotation. So if I start rotating an X, I can see that it's, it's the rotation X. I could actually type in 360 if I want this to go all the way around, and then I'm hovering over this, I'll press I, and I can see that that keyed it, and I can key the location as well. And now I can see that it's going to do a full rotation. So now if I press play, okay, cool. And a way to think about this too, is if if we're at 30 frames a second, it's gonna take one second to get about, is to go here, and then it's gonna take another second to go all the way like that. Okay, cool. Now, let's say if I wanted this um, object to keep rotating, forever. Well, the other thing too, wait, hold on, before we get to that, if I notice, it looks like it's slow in the beginning and it's slow at the end and it's fast is kind of in the middle. And that's because it's doing what's called easing in and easing out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and kind of look at the graph editor. So if I bring this up like this, and then if I go to the corner here, I'm going to kind of bring this up like that. And now down here, I'm going to switch this to graph editor. So here's the graph editor. And I can see the graph editor here. And if I select this, okay, I can, well, let's see. I can select all of this. Well, let's see, look, uh, rotation. Let me see. Here's, here's my rotations. So it's, um, Rotation X is what I'm interested in. And if I zoom out, zoom way out, I can see it right there. And if I select it, then if I press, um, let me see here, I on the number pad, I can now zoom in on it, okay? And I can see it easing in and then get fast and then kind of ease out. So what I could do is if I select all of this, right click, and change my interpolation mode to linear, now it's gonna be a lot more even paced the whole time. So now if I hit play, you can see that it's, it is even paced, okay? But what's cool is I can even do this. Instead of me keying this forever, if I wanted to rotate forever, I can select all this, right click, and I can um, actually, what I wanna do is press, is come down here, and do shift E. So if I select all, I'm gonna select what I want. So I'm gonna select this. And then I'm gonna do shift E as in uh, extra, extra, well, whatever that is, okay? And I'm gonna say make um, cyclic, okay, with the F modifier. So I feel like, again, I'm gonna go like this, select this, shift E, make cyclic. And now, Let's see what happens there if I did that. So if I click on this, okay, I can see that that'll go forever no matter what, you know, no matter how many frames I'm showing. Okay, so that's kind of cool. That's that's kind of one thing here. And um, so again, this is going from zero to 360 and then I, I made it the same speed and cyclic. So let's do this one here, but let's say I want this one to rotate the other way. 
Okay, so I'm going to go to, back to frame one. I'm going to press I, and I'm going to say location and rotation. Excellent. Now if I go to frame 60, um, notice I can move it here or down here. Now if I wanted to go the other way, I could type in negative 360. And then again, if I hover over this, press I and I, I can see it down here. And what I know is I need to select this, right click, interpolation mode, linear, and then shift E and make cyclic. Now you can see that they're going to be going the opposite ways, but they're going to be forever like that. Okay. So that's just kind of getting us started, but I did that so we can kind of visually see what's happening. So notice that I, I even keyed the location. So it's kind of like, I'm, Hey, I'm telling him to stay in place. Okay. But watch how things change if I add something to the scene. Uh, so if I go shift a, and I'm going to add a, an empty, and I'm going to add this plane axis. Okay. Now that plane axis is not something that's going to render, but I feel like you can kind of see what it looks like. It looks like this plus sign. I'll just go ahead and leave it at the center. And I'm going to take both of these toruses. Okay. So I'm going to select this, this, and then I'm going to shift select the um, empty and I'm going to do control P as in parent. And I'm going to say, keep transform. Okay. Now what that did is if we look here, I can see that those toruses or tori, I guess, are underneath the empty. And now if I move the empty, I can see that those tourists come along for the ride. So now maybe what I do is I'm going to animate the empty. So I'm going to at frame one, just press I and say, I'm going to, I, I want to key the location and rotation. Then I'm going to go to frame maybe um, 60 and I'll bring this up and I will rotate it just slightly like, well, let's see. I'll rotate it like this. And it doesn't even have to be, if I wanted to be perfect, I could do like that and I can press I and I, and now let's see what happens here. So now if I bring this back, I can see that it's kind of cool. So those are spinning and those will spin indefinitely. And I can see how that's going to spin like that. Okay. And again, what's neat is what if I did this? What if I brought this out? What if I moved this like that? Now let's see what happens. Okay. You can see that it jumps back. And the reason that it jumps back is because the location is keyed. Okay. So if the location wasn't keyed, I could rekey it. So what I could do is I could move it out here. And then if I pressed I, now it's going to kind of you can see it's going to still do its thing and it's eventually going to get back to its original spot because that's where it was keyed before. But I, I guess my point is that it's, um, it's really following. It, I'm going to undo that. It's following this thing. Okay. Now what I could do too is I could parent this to something else. So I could go maybe, um, shift a, and it doesn't have to be an empty. It could be even a piece of geometry. So let's say if I do a cube, okay, I can move this cube here and then I can go to the, um, empty. So I want to select whatever I'm parenting it to last. So I'm going to select the empty first, and then I'm going to select this control P and I'm going to say object keep transform. Now I can see that this is happening. And then maybe I want, um, when it's all the way up, maybe I want this thing to kind of pull it away. So what I'm going to do is maybe I'll start at frame 60 and now I'm on the cube. I'm going to press I location and rotation, and then I'll go to frame 60 and I'll just kind of move this down here like that and then press I. Okay, cool. So now again, I can really start to see that I'm having some craziness go on. So I feel like, again, if I hit play, okay. So it's almost as if we have something kind of like on a treadmill or something along those lines. You can kind of think of it as in its own world, it's doing its thing. And then if the treadmill gets pulled, well, then it's just the, you know, that positioning is getting reestablished. But I feel like this is really cool, this idea that um, if stuff is parented to other things, you can kind of do a lot of cool stuff with it. Um, instead of thinking about, 
okay, if I wanted to create this animation, instead of like thinking about, okay, I'm gonna key this starting point here, I'm gonna have it rotate, and then I'm gonna have it kind of come down here, and I'm gonna have this as its end point. We kind of think about kind of this chain reaction of stuff happening. So again, hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully that kind of helped you get thinking along the lines of, you know, what, you know, kind of different ways of animating or just kind of, um, I don't know, something to think about here. So let me know what you thought in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos and tips and tricks every week. All right, talk to you later.